All right, so I wanted to work a little bit more on finding the inverse of a log function. If you haven't watched um, <clears throat> the introduction to logarithmic functions, part one, consider going back because we talked about some rules that are really, really helpful. But let's just take a couple quick examples that intend to make this video five minutes or less. So I'm going to try to hold myself to that. So find the inverse here. So we're going to take there. So you can find the inverse. Find the inverse. And remember, that the idea of finding the inverse is that if we start off with points x, y, when we're finished, it'll yield out to us the points y, x. That is to say that the numeric values will switch places. So here we go. So let's start with this one right here, if you don't mind. Let's start off with y equals log base 3 of x. First thing I'm going to do, because of the way my mind works, is I'm going to move this y here, I'm going to move it to here. It doesn't change anything, right? Reflexively, I wrote the exact same thing. And you'll see why I did this in just a second. Because I don't want this uh, in logarithmic form. I'd rather have this in exponential form. So I'm going to change this to exponential form. And all I'm going to do is this. Right? It's, let's take a look at this for a second. It's 3. I'm going to just use this 3 here. 3 equals y. Just because I want to show you, um, using colors, what it, what it is I did here. Right, the way that this works, the way that this works, if we switch from logarithmic form to exponential form, so this is the base, this is the exponent, it must equal this. Right, so that's what I'm trying to get to here. So I'm going to actually apply that. I'm going to say 3 to the power of, right, 3 to the power of, whoa, sorry about that. Do it again. 3, right, to the power of, y is equal to x, right? So it's solved, right? We solve, right? We, first thing we did is we solve for x. Now, people will argue which way it is. Some people switch x and y first and then solve for y. I have always done it, solve for x and then switch. But either way, so now I'm going to, after, after I've solved for x, I'm going to switch. So I'm going to switch x and y. So our answer is 3 to the power of x is equal to y. And there's our inverse function. And we're at two and a half minutes into the video. And so I think we're, we're making pretty good time here. Right? So what did I do? First, I switched this out of exponential form. I, sorry, I switched this out of logarithmic form into exponential form. And then I did whatever math I could do. In this case, not much. But this, just, just to have it said, this by defi is true by definition. It's true by definition. Okay, let's try one more example. I think we have just enough time to do that. So let's try that. Let's say, um, okay, find the inverse. Find the inverse. This is example two. Example two. And here we're going to take y equals ln of x plus 1. ln of x plus 1. So I'm going to do a, a lot of stuff here. For one, I'm going to look at this ln. And I know that ln is log base e. And here's our x plus 1. x plus one and if you don't mind, you know how I am. I'm going to move this y to this side because it's just it's how my brain works. I have a little pattern in my mind of how I'm going to do this, and see if you can't figure out what I'm going to do here, right? <clears throat> Here's my base e. Right, I switch this ln of ln of this is ln is the same as log base e. Now what I'm looking at is this e right here, and I'm looking at this y right here, and now I'm going to Switch this to exponential form, so I have the base is e, so it's e to the power of what? Right? Rem Let's take a look. Remember, that's what we're doing is this. We're going, we're going to make this circle, right? So e to the power of y is equal to x plus 1. I guess I'll do that. X plus 1. We're still doing really good for time. That's great. So hang in there with me, please. X plus 1. Why did the parentheses come down? Because there's nothing in here, the parentheses. If you want, I satisfy the parentheses. I'm pretending there's a 1 here. I multiply the 1 through, 
the parentheses are satisfied. They go away, don't they? And now remember, we're solving for x right here. Was right, the idea here was solve for x is the first thing we're going to do when we're finding a an inverse function. So now we're just going to do algebra here. I'm going to subtract that from each side. And we're going to have e to the power of y. That's there. Minus one is equal to x. And now what's the last step? Switch x and y. And if we switch x and y, right, let's take a look at this right here. That, oh, let's, let's, here's our y right here. And let x be, I don't know, let x be green, shall we? So x is green. If we switch them, we'll get, right, we'll get e. switch x and y so the x goes here and the y goes over to here so here's our y and now we have that as an inverse function okay so I think that wasn't horrible I really do I think that wasn't horrible let's see how we did for time six minutes so we went one minute over I hope you're taking really good notes um, next video we're gonna talk about how to graph these things so good work good work good work